Lisa Keating. Welcome to Encino Mom TV. Today we're going to talk with Lashinda Dumas, two-time silver medalist in the Olympics and gold medalist. She's won a lot of silver and gold medals and in the Olympics, and we're doing a boot camp out here today on the beach. Elbows to knees, come on down. Don't let that go back. And then we're going to taste some Shivani products afterwards. It's fantastic. Join us, won't you? So I grew up on the track seeing that and I think I kind of just automatically assumed that since my mother was fast that I was. She never forced me to run track and I just got into it with my older sister who was riding around in the neighborhood and a guy just recruited her like come out to my track team. Nobody really had to push me to do anything. I kind of just took it on myself. I was a hard worker originally, didn't like losing and it just was something natural that came with me. Well, I'm pretty fast too, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to beat me out there to the beach. <laughs> I'm scared, you know. I take all my competitors seriously, so watch it. <laughs> Never underestimate a mother, right? Hey, I, hey, I say that to everybody when they interview. I'm like, I don't underestimate anybody. <laughs> And I never would underestimate a mother, so you're right. I'm not really fast at all. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. You know, I'm always drilling myself on being prepared and having a plan and executing the plan. So while I'm there on the track, I'm, I have an idea in my head what I want to do, and I'm running that through my head a hundred times before the gun goes off. I'm actually talking myself through the race, every single hurdle and all the way around the track. Wow, do you use um, visual imagery as well? Of course, I, I, I meditate on my race uh, probably three or four days before I even run. And I never vi uh, have a vision of myself losing. I never have a vision of myself hitting a hurdle, anything. If I do any of that, I start the whole thing over again. So I don't finish a race with it being messy or uglier. Practice does make perfect because what you train your body and what you practice, it shows on the track. If you're somebody that quits and practice a lot, you'll see that in your race. So I think practice does make perfect. And what you vision brings that perfect more easier. That's what I think so. I like that. My sponsor and partner, Chabani, is having an Olympic-based fitness uh, camp today, and I'm here to help beat on beat up on everybody. So, <laughs> ready? I'm ready. If look, you're ready, I look. I got my ready. target pants on. I'm you're ready. Supposed to, <laughs> you're supposed to say I'm born ready. Oh, I was born ready. Yeah, okay, let's get it. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's Chobani? Chobani is a Greek yogurt, uh, all natural ingredients. Is it a regular part of your diet? It definitely is a regular part of my diet. Uh, it's good in protein. It's double the amount of protein than a typical yogurt and I normally eat it in the morning because I can't have anything heavy on my body before I run. That's just me. Some other, you know, other athletes don't have to. And for athletes, we refuel after our workout and you have to have a lot of protein afterwards because your body is kind of craving it. And so I'll, I'll finish off with some Chobani after I work out as well. So it works perfect for me. And I love to align myself with something that I love to eat. And so this is good <laughs> for me and my family. So I do travel a lot, but only in the summer, you know, spring to the summer. So it's not that many months. And I feel that I need to spend as much time as, with them as I can. I don't have a nanny. A lot of people ask me, that. <laughs> like, do you have a nanny? I'm like, no, I refuse. So it's funny. I know that they, they like racing and they love the fact that, you know, that I'm an athlete and that I run and stuff, but they're into everything. I don't ever want to make them think that they have to run track, but I think that they have to have that, that talent in there it's somewhere. In there it's in there somewhere, the yeah. yeah. When you win a silver medal, when you win a gold medal, does it feel different? Oh, of course. <laughs> gold feels a lot better than silver. <laughs> <laughs> they call that the bridesmaid, the silver medal. Like you don't want to be in that position, but you know, uh, I always say that it takes it takes a real champion to lose a hundred times in order to get that one win. So it's a lot of people that have the same talent as I do, but would have gave up a long time ago. And I think that's kind of what makes me successful. You can do it all, and you don't have to feel like you you know, put your life on hold for something that you aspired since you were a little girl. So going to the Olympic Games was something that I always wanted to do and for me to not stop and have my, my family experience this whole thing with me is a dream come true. So I really want women to understand that uh, just because you have a family, 
just make them a part of your dream as well and as possible. So that's one thing I like to put out there. You know, I think we really have that in common because, and for me, it's not just um, that I want women to know that. I want everybody to know that, that right. you can include your family in your life and you can see very much that I've got my family uh, very much right involved in my life. And it's, I think it's a great thing. It's the best thing. Yeah. And, and you know, you have a legacy that you leave and they were here to experience it all. So we kind of both leave in our whole family legacy together. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lisa Keating. Thank you. That's it for me today on this episode of Encino Mom TV. Join us next time, won't you? Special thanks to Lashinda Demas and her sponsor, Chobani. We love your jicama slaw. Get the recipe at EncinoMom.com.